Uh, Steve H. here from Ask.Audio, and I am with Joel Davel from Bukla Electronic Musical Instruments. So you have a new product this year. We do. Uh, it is the uh, AUGS card, or uh, the auxiliary card. It's called that because it takes advantage of a few things. One is uh, there is a uh, an AUGS in that's always been part of the easel. Uh, not a lot of people have been using it because they don't necessarily have other audio they're putting in. So this uh, gives you an output, uh, gives you use of that. It also takes advantage of the other things up here, uh, the two card inputs on the, on the bananas. Now normally the card input would be used for presets, uh, which was also innovative for 1974. I remember. <laughs> and uh, what you could do is you could throw this into remote mode and you would essentially have the same setup as if you had set up uh, switch settings and, and uh, fader settings and bananas uh, patches with the bananas. And it would sound, if you, you know, used enough resistors and you knew what you were doing, you could get a pretty good uh, so, safe patch. So what does the aux card bring? Uh, more sounds? More control? Tell me. Well, so in order to do what we were talking about before, where um, uh, the you use this as a preset card. What we have already moved to is the using what we call the iProgram card, which uses an iPad app to program those various switch settings and banana set, you know, that banana cable patches and the you know, fader positions. And so that was sort of taken care of. That had gone to the next step. But a lot of musicians uh, wanted more resources, not just another way to save presets. And what this allowed us to do is bring in another source that was ready to be brought in, and that is uh, we brought in an oscillator and a noise source. They pretty much, uh, the three requests were for a noise source and a, another modulation oscillator, because this modulation oscillator can be used for audio as well, but once you start to use it for audio, then it may not be as functional for modulation. So, uh, for at least slow modulation, because it's going to be at a much lower than audio rate. So what this allows us to do is, in the low range on this, you'll be able to... Uh, use it as an LFO. But in the high range, I realized, you know, it actually makes a nice third oscillator. Um, and it also provides a tuning reference to the analog oscillator. So if you're playing with others and you're not sure you're actually playing C, you can reference yourself to what this puts out. This is a first for uh, Vukla. So there are a lot of fun things you can do simply by uh, controlling the switch positions. Also, you can control the, the mode of the gates or the wave shapes here, uh, things that you can do with switches. This knob was also didn't have a CV input. Uh, it's called timbre, but it's not the same. Uh, so that if you switch, go into this card and you switch it to that, you have control of that. So there are a lot of uh, things that it brings to the table. It's fantastic. Well, thank you very much. I'm really excited about the, the new stuff that you guys are doing and the, the new functionality that you're bringing to the easel. Thanks. Trying to keep the instruments uh, contemporary and yet authentic. They're the original function. And the Don's vision of really making music that uh, brings out people's creativity. It doesn't sound like other people's music. It sounds like your own. There you go.